Hey! Crazy coincidence, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody called him Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with the Intel, and we are getting ready to do another series review slash watch along for The Peacemaker. This has been a long time coming. If you are a fan of the Suicide Squad, which is different than just regular Suicide Squad, you've been waiting for this too. One thing you don't have to wait for is clicking that subscription button and clicking the bell icon to give you up to date notifications anytime the new episodes drop so we can, you know, watch this together. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and see how good the Peacemaker can be. Man, I mean, we're coming like right off of the movie, right? Oh. This is your last motherfucking warning! Damn. Whoa. I mean, all the way clocked, right? Peacemaker. <laughs> Get out of here, motherfucker. You a fan? There's no superhero called Peacemaker. <laughs> and I'm fucking <laughs> of them committing crime. Fine, that's, that's a good point. I will trust white people less in the future and kill a higher percentage of them. Are you sad? <laughs> a little, yeah. <laughs> Nobody gives a damn about Peacemaker. <laughs> Yo, I do love it. That's hilarious. <laughs> What's in the bag? He gave up the helmet. <laughs> Isn't it against the law to own a bald eagle? Are you kidding me? No, there was like 10 of them and they shit all over my couch. No, this guy. Oh, he's got the helmet on and everything. I'm calling somebody, I don't know, sugar tits. It's totally inappropriate. Tits are way too big to be sugar tits. Sugar tits are like smaller, perkier tits. Like. <laughs> Although I do appreciate the confidence with which you said something so wrong. <laughs> Oh, that's my thing. That and having a big dick. <laughs> hey! Crazy coincidence, right? Oh, you played on Jimmy Neutron. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody called him Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Finish up for him. Hey. <laughs> He's smitten. <laughs> It was kind of hot, though. <laughs> this is my jam. You know, this is back when men were real men, because they weren't afraid to be women. <laughs> hey, I gotta thank you for tonight. I was having a crazy fucked up day, but when I was in your pussy back there... <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, she all types are strong too. Good lord. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Oh no. I just want to give you scabies. Scabies for all? Why would I want scabies? Challenge yourself. Every man should have scabies once in his life. What? No. All right, so that was the first episode of Peacemaker. <laughs> James Gunn definitely has his own style. It's very unique. And uh, I think it fits DC perfectly because DC is all involved with the dark and gritty and the adult content a lot more than, than say Marvel. Marvel is definitely more suited for family oriented content. Yeah, this ain't that. <laughs> you watched the Suicide Squad. Uh, you can already pick up on it based on just like that insane epic levels of, uh, of violence that was going down. So instead of, um, you know, assaulting our eyes with bloodshed now we get to see some things that aren't necessarily politically correct but this is you know for it's this wheelhouse you know uh that's why this is on uh, hbo max and not coming on 
<laughs> and not coming on a platform that has to be a little bit more um, leery of what it puts on. Uh, there's gonna be some people that are gonna have some something to say regarding it, but uh, I think it's a you know it's a fun it's a fun romp so far. You're dealing with an antihero. That's like the whole stigma. That's the whole stick now. He's dealing with antihero. Everything is antihero. So I guess it's gonna be the bad guy with the heart of gold. One of those kind of things. John Cena is perfect for this. Uh, he's just that affable, goofy kind of kid in, in muscle clothing. I guess that's the term that I'm, I'm going to go with for now. So what did you like? What are you looking forward to? Did it meet your expectations? Is John Cena killing it like you'd hoped he would? I think he's doing all right. Um, do you know what you can do to be all right with me? Hit that subscription button. No, I'm for real, because we can connect and kick it, and you'll know when the next episode comes, and you'll know that if you hit the bell icon. Of course, leave those comments and the thumbs up. That's how YouTube knows that you're digging what we're feeling. Hey, so that's going to be it for this particular episode. Stay tuned, because episode two is right around the corner. All right, take care. Peace out.